Question 2a, part 1. Explain what is mean by following terms. Homogeneous catalyst. Homogeneous catalyst is the catalyst that in the same phase as reactants. So we always uh, refer to reactants. When the catalyst same phase as reactant, so we call this as a homogeneous catalyst. Okay, so it means uh, follow the same logic. Heterogeneous catalyst is the catalyst that in different phase to the reactants. So for example, when the reactants is uh, in the uh, aqueous form or in gas form, and the solid is in uh, sorry the catalyst is in solid form so we know that uh, this catalyst is heterogeneous catalyst uh, the best example is the Haber process right the reactants they are all gases form and the catalyst is solid right so it's iron catalyst and <clears throat> part two Iodide reacts with proxy disulfate. Uh, this one, S two O eight two negative, and this reaction is slow, but it is catalyzed by Fe two ions. Uh, so this one is very specific because when you give the equations later, you must start with iron two. After that, the second equation you can use iron three. It must start with iron two. Okay, so from from these overall equations that given, you must know which one undergo oxidation and which one undergo reduction. So from this equation, we know that iodide oxidizes to iodine, and this iodide must oxidize by iron three. Because iron 3 need to be reduced and iodide will be oxidized. Therefore, we know that the peroxy disulfate ion so will be reduced. You can check the oxidation number. Um, okay, oxygen, okay, 8 atoms, so it's negative 16. Overall charge is 2 negative. Therefore, we know that it must be positive 14 because 2 sulfur here. So it's positive 14 over 2. So oxidation number for the sulfur is positive 7. After the reaction, it's from sulfate. So it's 4 oxygen here is negative 8. Overall charge is 2 negative. So sulfur is positive 6. Positive 7 to positive 6 means uh, it's undergo reduction and the proxy disulfate this one must reduced by iron 2 so means the first equation you must put the proxy disulfate together with iron 2 iron 2 need to be oxidized at the same time this proxy disulfate will be reduced okay, so you give the equation uh, like this Okay, proxy disulfate reacts with the iron 2. Iron 2 will be oxidized and the proxy disulfate reduced. Okay, so this is the first equation. And the iron 3 that form here will use to oxidize iodide to iodine. Iodide after it's oxidized to iodine, so iron 3 must reduced, reduced to iron 2. And this iron 2 will use back in the first equation and reacts with peroxy disulfate. Uh, and therefore, we say that this is the catalyst. Iron 2 is a catalyst which can be regenerated. Okay, so I hope you understand the whole uh, reaction. Uh, it's quite common, uh, this reaction. Part 3. Suggest why the alternative route is the present, uh, uh, in the presence or in the presence of 
uh, iron 2 ion has a lower activation energy than the road that uh, in the absence of catalyst very easy so first you have to uh, refer to the uh, the reactants that involve the reactants here they are both negative charge and if we want to let the negative charge reactants react is quite difficult because when these negative charge particles that meet up actually they will repel negative negative they will have repulsion therefore it's relatively hard for them to mix and react that's why we need a catalyst which is positive charge because positive and negative they can attract to each other and they can react better so therefore for part three the only reason is this okay without catalyst is very uh, is higher activation energy because they are hard to react why hard to react because they have the same charge and they repel each other that's why Okay, the activation energy is much higher without catalyst. Part B, nitrogen monoxide reacts with oxygen. Okay, so we have this uh, equation, NO with O2 form NO2. Okay, this reaction is a second order with respect to NO and the first order respect to oxygen and the k constant given is 8.6 times 10 power of 6 okay part one construct the break equations for this uh, reaction just follow uh, what is what is given uh, rate equal to k constant times concentration of no squared because it's second order okay times the concentration of o2 so it just power one means because it's first order so this is the rate equation it is easy calculate the initial rate part two calculate the initial rate of the reaction under this condition when the initial concentration of no is 7.2 times 10 power negative 4 and initial concentration of oxygen is 1 times 10 power negative 3 okay because the k concern is given and the two concentration is given you just need to substitute all these three in the rate equation and you'll get this 8.47 times 10 power negative 3 mole per dm cube per second right. so this is a rate of reaction for these two concentrations okay part c the drug cis plating okay this one cis plating Hydrolyzed in water, the ligand exchange. So one correct okay, is exchanged with the H2O to form this. The rate equation is shown. Okay, is the, the rate equal to the K constant times the concentration of the cis plating. So we know that the order of the reaction is first order. Okay, and the cis plating is also first order. Okay, the value of K constant given 2.5 times 10 point 85. Part 1. The reaction has the constant half-life. Uh, constant half-life is telling us that uh, the reactants, okay, it must be the first order. Which means uh, whenever the reactant uh, is the uh, first order, okay, it's half-life or the reaction's half-life it must be constant means uh, when the time that we use to reduce the concentration of the reactants by half okay so the time is always the same so in this case the const the uh, half-life is always this value 27720 right so again Whenever the reaction is first order, or the reactant is a first order, for example, like this, so we know that the half life is always constant, same value. Okay, so part one again, this reaction has a constant half life. Explain why the in uh, this is the case. Okay, it's very easy because 
the reaction is first order with respect to cisplatin. Whenever the reactant is first order and the rate equation also overall is first order, so we know that okay, so it's half life is always constant, same value. Or you can say that in a uh, rate is directly proportional to the concentration of cisplatin, something like this. Right? So it's directly proportional. When the concentration of this uh, cisplatin double, the rate double, right? So it has a constant half life. Okay, and part two, this one, uh, no choice. Uh, if you want to calculate the half life of a reaction, and we know that the reactant is first order, first order, we must use this expression or this equation. So this one, you just need to remember 0 0.693, this is fixed value, over the K constant for the reaction. So in this case, the K constant is this. We substitute the K constant into this equation. So therefore, we'll get this 27720 second. So this is the half-life for this reaction. Means in order for the concentration of the cis plating to reduce half, we need this time. Let's say initially is uh, uh, one mole per dm cube. When it's become 0 0.5 mole per dm cube, it needs this time. Uh, this is means half-life, right? Okay, so part three. <clears throat> Eight times 10 power negative six moles of cisplatin are added to 100 cm cube of water. Calculate the time taken for the concentration for the cisplatin to fall to this concentration. Uh, first, you need to calculate the initial concentration. Moles is given, volume is given. We convert cm cube to dm cube, so it's 0 0.1 dm cube. So we get initial concentration is 8 times 10 power negative 5 mole per dm cube. So we compare the initial concentration to the concentration that it reduced. Okay, we, we know that is 33 to 1 ratio, 33. 33 we know that is 2 power 5. Okay, so means it need to undergo 5 times of the half-life period five times so therefore the time taken is 27720 that we calculate just now times five because it need to undergo five times of this half-life period so therefore the time taken the total time taken it must be this 1.39 times 10 power 5 second that's all for this question thank you